Welcome, my name is Abid Mohammed. Today I'm going to show you how to use the QuirkLogic paper in conjunction with using it with Google Drive to import and export content. Before we begin, let's turn on our device. We'll slide our hand over the top, press the button. You'll see the screen flash, indicating it's come from sleep mode to a blank slate where you can collaborate and ideate with your team. From here, we want to click on the triple dots in the top right hand corner where you have a menu of options. You want to select sign in to begin that process or allows you to access the Inkworks portal. Once you come to the sign in page, you have the ability to use a QR code or to sign in manually. Here we're going to use the QR code and access it through the Quilla Connect app. We'll slide our hand or touch the menu of options where you can select QR code to log in, hover our phone over top of that QR code and sign in to our um, paper device. This will give access to the Inkworks portal where you have the cloud network and connectivity to save your content. If you click on the triple dots again in the top right hand corner, you'll see you have a number of menu of options. You have the ability to insert and export three quarters of the way down. And we also have the option to create a new file. We'll create a new file for our project today and our video presentation. Here I'm going to create a new file called video presentation two. So we'll come here and we'll call it uh, video presentation. Video presentation space two. Okay, once we're done that, we're gonna press create, where it'll create a video presentation on our Inkworks cloud uh, area, allowing us to save our content there. From here, we want to insert your content, where you want to go to the triple dots again, top right hand corner, you have the ability to insert three quarters of the way down. This will access uh, a number of areas. You have one, which is the local drive. You have two, which is the mine folder, which is your Inkworks uh, cloud connectivity to save content uh, that is by default. Then you have the shared with me, which is an area where you can share your content with other users on the Inkworks uh, network. You also have the Google Drive and Dropbox. We wanna select Google Drive for this example where we're gonna bring in some content. Here it's going to ask to sign into Google Drive and I'm signing in with my personal uh, email address to the account so to bring in some content that I put on the Google Drive. So going in there, we'll select that specific area. It's going to start to authenticate uh, and allow me to bring in my content to my presentation or my workbook project. We're gonna click OK to finish the authentication and granting access to my Google account. So once that's done, you'll see here that it's on Google Drive, allowing me to bring in my content. I have a video presentation, uh, paper demo video for us today. I'll bring that into my uh, presentation content. Uh, you'll see here it's bringing it in. Now it gives me the option to select all my pages or I can actually say, you know what? I don't wanna bring in all my pages. I wanna select only a couple of pages. I have the ability to do that as well. So you have the option to select only one or two pages or to select all your pages that you wanna bring in for your presentation. Now keep in mind, there is a limitation to this, uh, how many pages you are bringing in, but uh, br you can bring them in up to 25 megabytes. You wanna press insert. And when you're pressing insert, um, you can uh, insert that content and you'll see here it has come in and one thing you'll notice is I have it on page two and that's because page one you have a new project is always blank and it does it by default to bring in your content and then you can always go back and delete page one. How do you do that? I'm going to select page one and I'm just going to put my hand on the menu to get that contextual menu and I'm just going to go down and press uh, delete a page and we'll delete the first page so that I have a nice clean presentation starting at page one all the way to page 10 now so you can see my content. Now if I were to go through my presentation and I wanted to make some amendments, maybe make some changes, I can actually turn the page and you'll see here I'll come to the next page where I can come in, I can grab my pen, I can make some changes on the screen, maybe perhaps illustrate that it has long battery life, it's lightweight and we're working with Google Drive today. So I made my changes, made my amendments. From here on, I can come to the top right hand corner, click on the triple dots and go to export. When I get to export, I can choose a PDF, JPEG, PNG, or to email me function, which will come out as a PDF to my inbox. But in this case, I wanna showcase how it exports out to Google Drive. We'll use the PDF function. 
uh, for today's example, where I have the ability again to select which pages I want. So I'll pick perhaps three pages this time that I want to export out for my presentation. We'll click on next. From here, it'll ask me to sign into Google Drive or Dropbox. We'll pick Google Drive. And from Google Drive, because it's already authenticated, we can export our content. So I'll put in here for our name for video, maybe perhaps changes. Now, if you made a mistake, you can always go back, make some updates. So we'll make sure I enter it in correctly. So video, and then we'll go changes. Click export and we'll wait for the export to complete. You'll see a percentage indicator at the top indicating that it is exporting our content to Google Drive. Uh, once it's complete, it will give you the uh, status that it has completed the export to that drive. And it goes pretty quickly um, and it's all dependent on your network connection, but it'll move through exporting 100%. Uh, once that's complete, for that to finish. Workbook is exported. So it's given us a, a check mark indicating it is finished. We'll go to the top right hand corner and we will sign out to secure our presentation. Click continue. Once we're out, you'll see a blank page back to the default of workbook 0001 QLW. We can secure our workbook and our tablet by pressing the power button where it will go back to sleep mode. This is the QuirkLogic paper working with Google Drive on import and exporting content. My name is Abid Mohammed. It was a pleasure to do the video for you today. Any questions or concerns, I urge you to reach out. Have a look at my other videos to give you some guidance on how to use the QuirkLogic paper.